Hey everybody, this is Jason with Nortz. I wanted to come to you guys and introduce a great new accessory that we've added to the Easy Series lineup. It's the NRK-1 No Roof Kit. No longer do you have to go to the roof for the installation, which is a huge, huge thing for the contractors. We're here in the lab. We want to walk through the steps that are required in order to install the No Roof Kit. So we'll walk you through the steps, and if you have any questions, let us know. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and take a tape measure. I'm going to run all the way up to the, the roof cap, and I'm going to get my desired length of the overall vent run that I need. Uh, remember, when you're installing, this product is only going to go compatible with a Meravent, Duravent, and Metal Fab. Please note the NRK-1 No Roof Kit does not include the PVC pipe. These are all the components that are included in the No Roof Kit. All right, we're gonna to wanna to take the measurement from the existing B vent that we did at the beginning of the install. We're gonna to wanna to cut to that measurement and then make sure you cut the pipe and don't forget to deburr and clean the edges after cutting. Upon installation, we're gonna decide whether we're gonna utilize a three inch or a four inch application. For this one, I'm gonna go with the four inch first. We're gonna utilize the three inch gasket and we're gonna slide that in. We're gonna to wanna to make sure that this is um, tight all along the bottom. For a four inch, we're not gonna utilize the screws, okay? But we're gonna take the four inch gasket, slide that over the top of the diffuser, and then we're gonna slide that all the way down. It's also important to note that you wanna lubricate the edge of this to make it slide up into the pipe easier, okay? For a three inch application, we're gonna go ahead and take the diffuser, the three inch gasket, slide that all the way up in and making sure that that's flush against the diffuser all the way around. We're going to utilize these screws in each of the holes. You want to make sure that you use that lubrication all the way around the outside of the uh, diffuser gasket just to make sure it goes up into the pipe smooth and easy. And then just want to make sure that you see, just take off this tape for the uh, three inch diffuser spacer. Then you're just going to put that directly on the top. And you'll be good to go for your three inch application. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how to put the screws into the three inch diffuser. And again, you only need to do this on the three inch application. Then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do those for all of the other screw holes just to make sure that that stays in place. We have our uh, three inch diffuser kit installed onto the polypropylene. For installations where you need a longer vent run, you're gonna go ahead and grab another piece from the kit that's included. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure that we're utilizing the end with the beveled edge and that's gonna go into the O-ring side of the polypropylene pipe. Make sure you lubricate that to ensure that the pipe goes in smoothly. Just attach the two pieces and then that's gonna give you a longer vent run that you need. I'm gonna go ahead and run the three inch diffuser kit all the way up the vent until we get to the roof cap. And that's where we're gonna know that we're done. So we're gonna to wanna to tighten the base junction support to the ceiling utilizing the top screw. Get that nice and tight. And then you're gonna to wanna to utilize the bottom screw to attach the two, the two inch polypropylene and you want to be careful not to over tighten this too much because you're probably going to need to change it around a little bit when you're attaching it to the PVC. You're going to want to apply a thin layer of lubricant which is attached to the female portion of the polypropylene adapter. And then go ahead and attach the adapter to the end of the polypropylene pipe. Next, use the aluminum tape between the connection of the PVC and polypropylene pipe. In order to adjust the exhaust type, uh, setting into single vent or SV, we're gonna wanna remove the front cover and adjust the dip switch. So you wanna make sure that you disconnect the electrical power and then turn on dip switch number three. We're gonna wanna insert the air intake into the left-hand side of the water heater or the in portion. Go ahead and insert and then just tighten it, but not too tight. All right, thanks for watching the No Roof Kit installation. Uh, we wanna make sure that you have all the details that you need. Again, just to recap um, how much easier the EZ Series installation is now with this new No Roof Kit. You don't have to go to the roof, um, and it's just a very quick, easy installation up to eight and a half feet. So anytime you have those straight runs, make sure you're looking for that No Roof Kit. Um, this is in addition to the um, various venting styles that the EZ Series offers now. Uh, we can do outdoor, we can do DV, we can do the EZTR flexible vent, um, and now we can do this no roof kit uh, without having to go to the roof. So it's a great new product from Noritz. 
have any questions, uh, you can always scan the QR code on the uh, installation sheet here, or just go to help.norrens.com and it's going to give you all the details. Thanks for watching.